Well, that booming sound in the Pine Belt you heard this summer it could be thunder, but it could also be training at Camp Shelby. 30,000 military service personnel will train at Shelby the next few months during the post annual training period. Our Charles Harrington tells us there were all those troops, where all those troops are coming from, and the economic impact all that training will have on the economy. Scenes like this will be common at Camp Shelby all summer as National Guard units from the region fulfill their annual training requirements. About 500 soldiers from Mississippi's 155th Armored Brigade Combat Team just wrapped up training at Shelby in preparation for deployment overseas. There will be many more troops to come. We'll have the remainder of the 155th Armored Brigade Combat Team in followed by the 278th Armored Cavalry Regiment uh, from across Tennessee, and then followed, uh, we'll have four battalions from the 256th Infantry Brigade Combat Team from out of Louisiana who will be preparing for, for an exportable combat training center that'll be held here at Camp Shelby uh, next year. And although summer is the busiest time at Shelby, the training goes on all year, involving service personnel from all branches of the U.S. Armed Forces. We typically don't close except for uh, Easter and, and Christmas Day, uh, but our, our range complex is basically open 363 days a year, and we will open those other two days if there's a unit that needs to train here. All that training is a big boost to the Hub City area economy each year, according to a study by the National Guard. We have an over a $60 million economic impact inside the Pine Belt, and that economic study is being revised now. We expect it to be well north of there since the last economic impact study. Henry says more than 72,000 military personnel will train at Camp Shelby during this calendar year. Charles Harrington, WDAM 7, on your side. And Colonel Henry says Allied forces have also been training at Shelby this year, including personnel from Canada, Great Britain, Belgium, and France.